The following is transcribed directly from documents found in an abandoned German test lab by American soldiers during the aftermath of World War II. It has been roughly translated into English. The testing is to begin tomorrow. The team does not know what to expect. Our mission is to take new research and turn it into a weapon for the war front. It has recently been discovered that the brain releases a previously unknown chemical when feeling fear. For obvious reasons, this test could be extremely dangerous. Two test subjects have been selected. From what we were told, they were sentenced to death, but are going to instead be used as subjects for this experiment. Subjects are given a table with two chairs, a cot with a mattress, a stocked bookcase, a notebook and pen, and a bathroom area consisting of a toilet, sink, and mirror. Food and water are given through a small, sealable opening. I have nothing more to report at this time. Test subject A and B have been given the chemical in a small dose, mixed with water. Test subject A has consumed the water, and has shown no visible changes in his mood or behavior. Test subject B has refused to drink the water. He has been forcefully given the same dosage, but by direct injection. He gave some resistance, but was easily controlled and injected. Shortly after, he seemed nervous, almost paranoid and jumped whenever he heard sudden noises. Subjects have been told to try to remain active or sleep, not just idle. It took time, but we developed a gas-based version of the chemical. If shown effective on the subjects, this could be a valuable weapon. Dosage has been increased slightly. Neither subjects were aware that the chemical was being let into the room. After a few minutes, Subject A stopped reading, and began to look around the room cautiously. After an estimated hour, he began to read again. Subject B immediately responded. He opened the notebook for the first time and wrote, What is going on? Stop whispering to me! I don't want to hear you! Onto a piece of paper, ripped it out of the notebook, and slipped it under the door. We are going to observe the effects of long-term, low amounts of the gas on Subject A, and we are going to observe effects of a short, high amount period of the gas on Subject B. The results are... shocking, to say the least. Subject A has progressively become more unstable. He stopped reading, would not eat, and avoided the mirror at all costs. He suddenly became very aggressive and threw a heavy book at the mirror with surprising force, shattering it. Subject B's reaction was more... curious. He began staring at the second chair, but he was not looking at the chair. He was looking as if he was making eye contact with someone sitting in the chair. Something seems amiss, but we are definitely getting results. Fiora will be most pleased. We did not want this. What did we do to deserve God's vengeance such as this? Subject B has escaped from his cell. The chair he was staring at was thrown across the room, straight into the viewing glass, instantly shattering it. It was five inches thick, reinforced. He didn't even touch the chair. He's escaped out of the hole made by the- ah! Ah! The vents are leaving the gas into the rest of the facility. The power's gone offline. And he killed off all the gas- Oh my god. No. No. No, 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 no! They're dead. 
every one of them. I hear him in the walls. I hear him whispering to me. Yes. Yes, please. Come take me away. I want no more of... On April 23, 1944, Allied soldiers found an abandoned German laboratory, with its only door sealed shut. Using explosive charges, they forcefully entered the laboratory, wondering what was so important that the Germans had to lock it away. They found 13 bodies, 12 of which had matching lab coats on, mangled to pieces, and in one case, ripped straight in half. The thirteenth body had nondescript brown clothing and no head. A larger scale investigation was launched by the Germans to determine what had happened, but was cancelled after many German soldiers absolutely refused to return to the laboratory, even if threatened with their lives. To this day, nobody knows what happened to Subject B, but he is presumed dead.